Welcome back, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, you know my first guest tonight as Sheldon from The Big Bang Theory. Starting Monday, you can also hear him on Young Sheldon. When I figured out that trains allowed me to prove Newton's first law, yeah, an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force, I felt like Neil Armstrong on the moon, alone and happy. <laughs> I don't care how dim-witted you are. Scientific principles have to make you smile. Please welcome Jim Parsons. Hiya. How sweet is he? And they cute. Oh, uh, Ian the young one? Ian, yes. He, I, I have met him several times. He is an really? absolute doorbell. He's he is so cute. He really He's is. He's so self-possessed. He's so engaging. Yeah. He could either be a TV star or the mayor of some place. It's very true. I was just talking backstage about somebody asked, is he not nice in person? I was like, wait. Well, first off, he's nine. But secondly... Uh, somebody asked you if this child was yes, not Yes, they're nice. right back there. Fired them immediately. All right. Um, <laughs> No, 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 it was a fair question, but I said, it's funny you asked because he and his mother have an agreement, and she, I've heard him, her say to him, like, what's our agreement? And he's like, as long as I'm a nice person, I can keep doing this. <laughs> wow. Is that not the best? That's I mean, really do we great. really need to know any more than that? Well, I should make the same agreement with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice. Well, listen, uh, since the last time I saw you, which was the beginning of the summer, uh, congratulations, you've gotten married. Uh, thank you. That's thank wonderful. You. Got some ring. Got a ring. Yeah. Mazel tov. Thank you. This is fantastic. So, uh, how long have you been in a relationship? We've been together, it'll be 15 years in November, so it, you know, about... Wow. Thank you. What, yeah. Other than, you know, legal reasons, what took you so long? Well, honest, I, I, I didn't really think we did, just didn't care about the act of it that much, to be honest with you. And, and that sounds cold in a way, but I finally thought, well, if we, let's have a party then for the celebration of, and we'll go ahead and legalize this thing. And, right. and I really thought it would kind of end at that, kind of a party feel, but it was so much more meaningful in the moment to me than I predicted, and it's been resonantly more meaningful to me afterward than I ever saw coming. I just, I just, you know, I had been an adult gay person for so long at a time where that wasn't possible that life was quote unquote fine in so many, you know what I mean? Like I got along fine. Well, and our relationship are in did, love and relationships for many years without getting married. Without what, getting married. What changed for you, like now that, what's your husband's name? Do you mind me Todd. asking? Todd. Now you and Todd are married. What, what's changed between you? What's different about the relationship? <sighs> Well, I don't know in a specific day-to-day -day sense what it is. Like, I don't know that there is anything. There is an underlying thing, a little buzz of something, though, that I know this now. And I keep reminding myself of it, you know, like I kind of forget. And then I'm like, we re we're a, a legal thing, just like mom and dad were, whatever. Um, oh, thank you. Did you feel different when you got married? How long were you all together before you got married? Uh, we, we were all together for like two and a half years, something like that. Um, yeah, it feels different. I mean, I really like, I gotta say, now I've been married for 24 years now. It's pretty damn And I gotta tell you, that, 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 that better or worse thing yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. Because there are some worses. Nobody's at their that's, best all the time, right. and you wanna be the better in the relationship. That's right. But when you're at your worst, to know that you're in a relationship with somebody who said, I know this could be bad, but I love you and I'm with you plow through this. forever. There's yeah. the sense of eternity yeah. that, that is, that's very comforting. Yeah, I think that's absolutely true. You know, there's something, there's, and I felt this even before getting married. This is getting really deep for a second, but I, I um, these people can take it. They can, they can. You can handle the truth. Um, uh, there's this sense of divinity of is to be. I felt like this. I still feel like this. To be in love, to find in a love in that way is. As, as close as anything else I can imagine in doing in life that brings, gives me the feeling of being close to God or whatever that is for you. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a sensation. I remember when we first, I can't believe I'm gonna go into this. When we first got together, I remember 
lying in bed and closing my eyes and but not being asleep and that sensation of light, light, light. And I was like, oh, I, I don't know what's going on exactly, but it feels like close to something important, eternal, you know. My dad had passed before, uh, a couple of years before I met Todd. And it, when I, I remember very early on that sensation I would have when I closed my eyes and I felt that light, I thought, oh, that's him. He's going, hi, I see you. All good. This is a great thing. Um, and I don't, I mean, it both was and it wasn't, obviously. Uh, but if I think it, 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 but I still feel that uh, now, maybe not as often because life gets in the way, but sometimes that sensation of closing the eyes and going, this is so close to... God, I don't know what other word to use for it. Love. There. Uh -huh. Was That's this any beautiful. on the card? That's it. That's it. That's all my questions. Uh huh. What has happened? Now, uh, Monday. <laughs> Getting back to sitcoms. Yes. Of Young Sheldon. Uh huh. Right after Big Bang. Okay. Now this was your idea, right? I understand that you you said, oh, we should have a Young Sheldon. Well, Todd and I uh, were talking. Um, we we run a production company, and our executive there, Eric, was like personal ideas from your life, what, they're so much easier to sell, and, and because they're meaningful to you, and you can go in and pitch them and get a good writer team, because neither of us write. And, uh, and we were like, let's go through the family. We went through my mother and sister, and like, oh, I don't know if they might be offended by it. It'd be good comedy, but I don't know if they'd like it. And then um, and we were like, who's the biggest character in the family? It's my nephew, this little 10-year-old Michael, who is just... Is he 11 now? Whatever. Sorry, Michael. Um, <laughs> you make it seem like he's not all right. Okay. No, no. What, what? <laughs> he's a little, he's you know. more. Uh, so that was the wrong gesture and noise. Then he's um, he's brighter than the rest of the family. Okay. And uh, but also in Texas, and uh, we started toying with it, and it was like, you know, this is verging very close to what could be considered a young Sheldon. And so I wrote Chuck Lori, and uh, was like, I just want to put this out here. If you think this is a good idea that we should run with, then let's go. If you don't, and I sense you may not, because if who would have somebody would have thought of this already, then we'll go our own way and steer clear of the Sheldon territory and just go and concentrate on the nephew. And uh, he wrote back and was like, "Let me talk to Steve Malaro." And he wrote back and says, "I love this. I love this." And oh, CBS has said it's the quickest anything has ever been greenlit. They heard yeah, the pitch what? immediately and said, "Oh no, we're doing we're doing." But you know show, what's maybe. funny about it? I really had the sensation like. The reason that they're going to say no when I bring it up is because, of course, they've thought of this. It's really the most simplistic of ideas that end up being like, oh, great. It's like, well, any dodo bird could have thought, do a young version of him. You know, you've written so many stories already. I've, I've talked ceaselessly for a decade now about what life was like as a little boy in Texas as Sheldon. And, and they're just sitting there. It's like a treasure trove. Well, uh, speaking of, of Texas, you're, you're from Houston, right? How is the family? How are they uh, dealing with They're the effects good. of Harvey? They're, they got very fortunate that they just suffered no personal like home damage or anything from it. It was the strangest and most tense 72 hours or so. I've never gone through anything like that. It was very singular in focus. Uh, it's, it's so funny in this day of the internet and you can stream everything. I had local Houston news streaming on my, on my computer because they were giving the most um, sure. pertaining to streets and everything. But... My, my sister's house was always fine. My mother's house, she's, she's alone and in a one-story house. And so they, she was fine, she was fine, and then the streets filled up. And then it got to her sidewalk. And there was this debate going on, should we take her with us? And, blah, blah, blah. and we were all finally like, what are we thinking? Take her with you, because, you know, hopefully nothing will happen. But you don't want to be choppered off your roof. No, and my sister's friends, people that we all know, were choppered off their roof. They had to climb up on their roof. And uh, I was like, I don't like the idea of my 69-year-old mother um, crawling up on the roof. Mm -hmm. For any reason. <laughs> For, For any, reason. any reason. Even to clear the gutters. No more cleaning gutters, hanging Christmas. Down, woman, down. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jim. Thank you. Young Sheldon premieres Monday at 8.30 on CBS, right after the season premiere of The Big Bang Theory. That's Jim Parsons, everybody. We'll be right back with Pamela Adlon.